folks. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I am off center. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. All right. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. We are not going to waste much time. Um, I am, uh, I've posted a cardio hit workout. It's in the playlist bio info thing. I apologize for being late. YouTube just changed the uh, live thing. And I was like, wait, this isn't what I'm used to. And it took me a minute to figure it out. But we're all good. I'm going to start the playlist in three, two, one, press play. Oh, and it's not, wait, hold on. It's not connected. Oh, I never know which one it is. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Starting over. Hey, c -dub. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, go. All right, let's get a little warm up going. We're going to start with arm circles. So we're going to do small, smaller arm circles. I hope you're doing well. It is a beautiful Tuesday. I went for a lovely hike with a friend of mine today. It was awesome. Let's go reverse. Very happy to get out and enjoy this beautiful day. I also like when you don't see very many people on the hikes because I don't like people. And this was great. It was just the two of us for most of it. So for a couple of trail runners. All right, big circles forward. Trail runners, uh, you know, kudos to you guys. Um, I cannot do that. <laughs> running, like the trails part is good. The running part is not, yeah. Mm. So props, trail runners, they looked, they make it, let's go reverse. They always make it look so easy too. They're like, la da da da, I'm going uphill. It's like 10% grade, whatever. Yeah, very impressed. A few more seconds. All right, we're gonna give the hug and take it away. When you're taking the hug away, Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Ooh, my upper body is sore. Did some push moves yesterday, some strength training. Glad it's hot there. It's it's a little hot here. My rule for Santa Barbara: the sun is hot, the night is not. So you'd be roasting during the day, and as soon as the sun sets, you're freezing. All right, a few more seconds. Let's reach up and then reach back. Keeping our, our torso still, so not like, oh, I'm not doing that. Keeping a nice neutral torso as we reach forward and back. Ah, uh, so today, compound moves, all compound moves. We're not doing, and well, there are a couple of specific core moves, but mostly you're getting a core because we're gonna be doing twisting and turning and all sorts of fun stuff. So let's come side to side. Just keep it sort of high. So we're gonna do a bunch of different compound moves. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a really heavy leg day, this is not gonna be it because a lot of times you're doing leg moves, but you're holding, a, you know, doing something with your arms, so it sort of limits your leg strength gains. So there's gonna be more functional movements. So that kind of thing, you know, full body workout, so uh, appealing to you, this is, this is your jam. I, of course, am Jane, your trainer for the day. I am also Lord of the Flies. Our kitchen is going through, like, uh, for some reason, we have, like, 20 flies every day that we have to kill, and then they're all gone, and then, like, the next day they come back. I don't know what's going on. It's gross. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to do, like, a full sterilization, me up and around. Woo. Find your focal point, knee up and around. Knee up and around. One more, we're gonna switch directions, so knee back, going up over the fence. I have to turn the fan on, I'm already hot. <sighs> A few seconds, we're gonna switch to the other side, so I hope you haven't done that already. Here we go, knee up and around on the other side. Putting the foot down, knee up and around. Whew. Knee up and around. A few more times. And reverse, so knee back. 
Jumping over the fence. Get used to this. Have your hands on your sides. I'm gonna look at something else so that I can actually do that. All right, let's go into our inchworms, hands towards your feet. Coming into a good plank position. Walking your hands back up. Ooh, getting as close to your feet as you can. Reaching up, doing it again. I've been doing been very good, been working on my aerial in the morning so it's nice and cool, which means I'm a little tired. And I was hiking, so you know, it happens. That's good. All right, we're gonna keep doing this for another 25 seconds or so. Really work on getting that forward fold, stretching those hamstrings, getting your shoulders warmed up. We're gonna be using everything today. Keep going, keep going. Come on back, we got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, we're gonna put the foot forward, pressing the hips forward to stretch the hip, uh, hamstring, stretch, <laughs> stretch the hip flexor. Hand goes up, hand comes back down on the inside of the foot, other hand goes up. And if you did that reverse, it's okay. Gonna come back, flexing that foot, dorsiflexing it for the hamstring. Then we're gonna come down, hands in front, the, uh, we're gonna do knee that's front, that hand goes back. Having your eyes follow your hand. Get a nice torso twist. And in five seconds, we're gonna go to the other hand. Pressing that back foot into the ground for stability. Switch arms. Eyes follow your hand, so you get a good torso twist. So you're not just throwing your arm back there like this. You're getting a full body twist. Few more seconds. All right, let's go to the other side. Foot forward, hips forward, stretch that hip flexor. Hands on the outside of the foot or the one that's closest to the foot goes up. Opening up that chest. Yesterday I did this, I heard pop each time in a good way. Opening up the other side. Hands come down on each side of the foot, lean back. Hamstring stretch. You can put your foot knee down for this if you need to, your back knee. But now you're gonna put your back knee down. Arms open, knee that's forward, that arm goes back. And if you messed up, we're gonna switch in 15 seconds anyway. Follow your eyes, switch arms. Don't hit your wall. Five more seconds. Come on down. <sighs> Leaning forward, sitting tall. Lean forward on that uh, butterfly. So keeping the back straight. Forward lean and back. Forward lean and back. So we're gonna keep things simple today. We're just gonna do sets, four sets. Like, oh my goodness, yeah, I know. Legs out into a straddle, leaning forward, toes pointed. Keep that back straight. And now we're gonna twist to the side. Ooh, opening up the torso, opening up the chest, so not collapsing down, keeping that shoulder back. And then slowly going side to side. 10 more seconds. Of course, I'm being Join my C dub. Thank you, C dub. All right. It's our feet out wider than shoulder width. Trying to get the knees down. Coming back up. Knees down to the other side. If you need some help to do this, you can have your hands there. I prefer you do it without some help. It's a little more of a workout, okay? You might find that your butt scoots forward as you do this. That's okay. Just reset. I do not have my uh, camera. Set, sorry. So knee comes down, knee comes down. If you can't get all the way down, that's okay. Work on range of motion, don't force it. Remember my rule about mobility exercises. You wanna chip away at your end range of motion, okay? You're not 
jackhammering through it. You're just like, I'm going to get a little better, a little better each time, a little better each time. But don't force yourself to do something that's painful or that's going to, you know, pull something. I don't want you to tell everybody that Jane pulls your groin because that's, no. Take a break. How are you feeling? Hopefully nice and warm. Give you a high five there. I'm going to get this fan started because it is warm in here. All right. Yesterday was like super cloudy and cool. And of course, didn't appreciate that. <laughs> now it's hot. So because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with upper body weights and lower body moves, we're not gonna get super heavy unless your arms can lift super heavy. That's cool. I might do that for one move, but we'll see. So um, in general, light to moderate weights because we're doing uh, different upper body stuff. And with that being said, we are going to go into our first move. It's gonna be a plank row to press up. And I have, and actually, so if it were just a plank row, I'd probably do my, my 12s. But because we're doing a press up, I'm gonna get a little lighter. So let me just pop these out. Ideally, I would have my eights, but they're in the car and I'm too lazy. Okay, so you have an option here. If having your hands um, on the weights is too much, I know for me it can be a little intense, then you're just gonna have your hands outside so you want to have your weights so that they're a little inside. So you want your hands shoulder width apart, whether they're outside of your weights or on your weights. Okay? And then you're going to get into a plank position. Feet shoulder width apart. If that's not enough balance challenge for you, you can always have them closer together, but I prefer them shoulder width. If you have more stability, you can have them out a little farther. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do row, press, and down. I'm going to swap the camera, swap the camera, I'm going to move the camera up. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So, we are going to do alternating sides. Actually, no, we're going to do same side because I want to zip through this. We're doing, we did four sets. Did I say four sets? All right, well, let's see how this set goes. So, we're going to do sets of six on each side. So, start with my left. Right, and we're just going to go back and forth, maybe a quick break in between in case we need it. But we're going to try to do four sets if we can actually eke all this out because it's already quarter after. And my gosh, I messed this up. Here we go. So you're going to row, twist up, and back down. Same side. Row, up, and down. This is three, four, Five, and six. Notice my eyes are following my hand. It's going to give more of a torso twist. We're going to do the other side. You know, we're, we're going to do three sets. Four sets, we'll never finish. All right, here we go, three, two, one. So up, press, down, down. Row, press, eyes follow hands. Row, press, and down. Four, five, and six. Shake it out. All right. I'm going to do the following sets, the next two sets, because we're going to do three total, not four. I'm going to do them. My stabilizing hand, I'm going to have just fly on the ground. It's a little tense for me to have it on the weight, and it's not doing anything anyway. So we're just, I'm just going to continue with one weight. All right, so you can have one hand fly on the ground or you can have it grabbing a weight. Again, feet shoulder width apart, good plank position to start. Hand shoulder width apart, and here we go. Row, up and down. Two, and down. Three, follow the weight. Four, five, six, Swap it out. Wait on the other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Row, press. Row, press. Three, four, five, and six. 
shake it out. Child's pose if you need it. We're going to do it one more time. See that, how you doing? So notice I don't have a super heavy weight. I'm lifting 10. Um, I could try it. You can try 12. You can just six. I'll try 12. You swap that. Give you a little rest. I don't have my eights or my 15s in here. And I have a feeling we're going to regret that. All right, last round. If you need to challenge yourself, go for it. Three, two, one, and up. And down. That's one. Two. I'm twisting a little bit of my toes. Three. To allow for the twist. Four. Five. Last one. Six. And swap sides. I'm coming on my knees briefly. Here we go. Three, two, one. Row. Press and down. It's amazing how two extra pounds can make quite a bit of difference. That's three. This one's going to fall out. Four, which is not what they're supposed to do. Five. And six. Shake it out. Good job. Pause round one for you. Or set move one. Yeah, these. You're supposed to like conform to your ear. And I think my ear is just too small. It just does not stay in place no matter what. Oh. Give me a high five. Did you have fun with that one, Greg? All right. So we're going to stand up. So, wait, I thought we said we were, I said we're going to stand up. Come on. All right, there we go. Ooh, hey. All right. Here's what we're going to do next. And again, to a sumo squat, okay? My shoulders are back. My back is straight. I'm not sticking my butt out like so. I'm keeping a good posture. All right, nice wide sumo stance. We're going to go down. We're going to raise, and we're going to twist. But we're going to add one more element to that, and that's down, up on your toes, twist. Whew. This is going to be challenging. I don't know if I've tried this before with the uh, oh, calf raise, okay? So try to be on your toes for the twist. If it's way too much, you can take it out. We're going to do six on each side, all right? Keeping those shoulders back. Here we go. So down, up on your toes, up and twist. And down, up on your toes, twist the other way. Down, up on your toes. This is two. Down, twist. That's two. We're going to go to six. Three. Woo. Down, three. Down, four, down, four, five. Keep those arms straight. Don't let your shoulders creep up. Got two more each side, or one more each side. This is six. Two more total. And shake it out. That is round one, my friends. Got two more rounds. A nice little balance challenge. Put some balance challenges in. What keeps you stable? Your core. Yes. Correct answer if that's what you answered. So keep that core engaged. Keep that everything else engaged. A good posture. As we go into that move. And we're going to do that two more times. And then a nice single spot. Make sure. But when you do your sumo squat, your knees are tracking over your toes, okay? So, ooh, that's painful. To start tracking inward or wobbling, slow it down. I'll probably chat a bunch and you'll catch up. No worries. Don't let that butt stick out. Shoulders back. Three, two, one, and down. Up and down. Up. That's one. Down. 
up, two, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, three, down, up, four, Woo. <laughs> down, up, four. Two more each side. Step on those toes. As you get tired, the challenge is real. Woo. Don't move too quickly. Let's run to a tape break. Get around. Round two. Yeah. Once you're on your toes, it becomes a lot less stable, obviously. Smaller footprint on the ground, get it? Footprint, because it's like your feet. Actually, it's not going to joke. That's just what it is. Um, we're going to do that one more time. Hope you're ready. All right, and then we're going to go back on the ground. Don't get too excited. Let's finish this round first. Remember, all the other posture cues are in full effect. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down, up, twist. Down, up, twist. Down, up, two. Down, up, that's two. Woo. Down, up, three. Don't go too fast, Jane. Tell myself this three. Nice and controlled. Four. Four, two more each side, five, five, six, last one, six, whew, good job, you have two done, just zipping through, I've got eight more listed, we run out of time, we got to do a Balance or uh, one more round through. I don't know. That'd be 40 sets. That'd be a lot. But I know we're doing shorter sets. And I'm talking to myself. No wait for this next move. Phone's not going to help me. So, how about I actually get the hammer down? Ooh, okay. We're going to do spider lunge to push up and twist. So, it's been a while since we've done these, I think. You guys bring one foot up as close to your hand as you can. If you're here, that's okay. Remember what I said about range of motion. Chip away at that range of motion. Get it as close as you can. This is the goal. If you're here, that's okay. Use your foot. It's like a little kickstand. Your elbows go straight back. You go into a push-up. Hand close to the foot comes up. And then back, and then we swap and do it again. Six each side. I mean, I feel like I need to change this preset. All right? So you know, if I think you read something, I have no idea what it is. I'll check in a minute. All right. Good push-up position. I'm going to start with my right foot so that we can see what I'm doing. So here we go. Step, push-up. Hand close to the foot comes up. Similar to our uh, warm-up. Other side, foot, push-up. Twist. Down and back. That's one. Foot, push up, twist, and back. Step, push up, twist, and back. That's two. Step, push up, twist, back, step, push up, twist, and back. Remember, hand closest to the foot goes up. This is four. Step back, step forward. And that's four. Two more each side. Push up. Twist. Open up that chest. Back. Twist. Or push up. Twist. That was five. We're going to do one more each side. Press open. Press open. Step back into that good plank. Take a break. <sighs> How's it going? How's it going? High five. High five. All right, we're going to do that two more times. So I really want you, 
if push-ups are a challenge for you, really want you to focus on leaning into that foot, getting that weight in that foot. Let that be a guide to help you get your push-up, okay? Remember, my elbows go straight back. Sort of hard for them to go out to the side because you got foot on one side. But yeah, let your foot take some of that weight if you can, okay? This is a hip opener. We're going to try set up push-ups. And you're getting a lot of core rotation in here too. So without further ado, let's go into round two. And here we go. Step, push-up, open, back, step, push-up, out. That's one. Step. Push up, out, and back. Step, push up, twist, and that's two. Step, push up, twist, back. Step, push up, twist, that's three. Step, push up, twist, back. Step, push up, twist, that's four. Two more each side. Step. Push up. Twist. Really open up that chest. Push up. Twist. Ooh, there goes a pop. One more. Step. Push up. Twist. Back. Other side. Step. Push up. Twist. And back. Shake it out. So something I want you to keep about, keep about, keep about in your mind. Keep in mind as we're doing this. Yeah, it's a hamstring stretch for sure. If you have tight hamstrings, it's gonna be a challenge. Your foot's probably not gonna get up as high. That's okay. Remember, chip, 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 chip away at that range of motion. Chip away at that hip mobility. Get that hip mobility you always wanted. So I want you to think about this next thing. If the challenge is just right for you, keep, keep on keeping on. If you feel it's easy, I want you to really focus on your head placement during this last round. So now looking at your feet, not looking up ahead. But also the thing for me is that even though I'm not necessarily tilted, my head is still sort of sinking forward. It's that tech neck that I'm fighting. So really fight. Think about someone's, whoa, what is that? It smells bad or something. So think about keeping that head back and engaged. Trying to get in line with your shoulders, because if you're like me, I tend to do this a little bit, and that's not so good. We're going to have that technique all the time. Here we go. Three, two, one. And step, down, twist, and back. Step, down, twist. That's one. Step, down, twist, back. Step, down, twist. That's two. Step, down, twist, back. Step, down, twist, that's three. Step, down, twist, back. Step, down, twist, that's four. Two more each side. Step, down, twist, back. Step, down, twist, Five, last time, step, down, twist, back, last time, step, push up, twist, step back, knees down, jaws closed. Excellent job, my friends. Three rounds down. Woo! We are going to stay on the ground. We're gonna grab mini bands. So I mentioned mini bands. Um, uh, iron on the floor. I'm going to pick this random one. Whoo, indeed. My sister always hates those spider lunge push-ups. She's like, I hate it. Oh, it actually opens up my hips. Just what it's there for. All right. So we are going to be doing a single leg hip thrust with abduction, with the bands. If you don't have a band, you're gonna duck. No, you're gonna be fine. You're just gonna do it without the band. But if you have a band, go grab it. I'm gonna grab it up your weight. You can do this without weight, okay? So, um, so I'm doing a single leg because 
you know, this isn't as heavy a weight as if you were, um, I mean, you can put whatever weight on here you want. So remember, my hands are going to keep the dumbbell in place. They're not there to lift the dumbbell. But the other thing I want you to keep in mind while we're doing this is I don't want your elbows on the ground. Because if your elbows on the ground, you can use your elbows to help pry yourself up off the ground. And this is a hip raise. So, so I'm going to have, actually, I put this above my knees. Maybe a little correction. A bit a little hard otherwise. All right, so knees are in line. Band is just above the knees. Elbows are out to the side, not supporting me on the ground. Going to lift out and down, okay? We are going to do eight on each side, and we're going to do three sets of this. So keep the knees in line, okay? Keep those in line. Hey, keep it in line, guys. Okay. Here we go. And up, out, down. Up, out, down. Up, three, down. Up, out, that's four. Up, out, five. Up, out, six. Up, out, seven. Up, out, eight. Other side. So think about how much you get, you know, when you're doing this hip thrust, knees to shoulders are in line. And you want to maintain that height even though you're on one leg. So if you ever need to do a quick check, you can always do a, sink, a double leg, raise the leg up, and then go out, okay? Um, but if you can do the single leg, just make sure you keep that good line. And I'm going to try to focus on that too. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up, out, down. Up, out, two. Up, out, three. Up, out, Four, up, out, five, up, out, six, up, out, seven, up, out, eight. Take a break. Round one done. How's it going? How's it going? I am perched. Too much chatting. I have a confession to make you guys. I had a burger for lunch today, burger and fries. Actually, half a burger. And because uh, it was pretty big. I didn't want to be like, welcome to Junior Ranch. I didn't want to be like that. So, I had eaten all day. <laughs> Protein mom, fat mom. I'm going today. I'm going to chop it up. Anyway, uh, my husband ate the rest of the burger. I was like, do you want a burger? He never wants to eat too much during lunch. He's like, I know, just gone. Totally gone. No leftovers for me. That's so sad. All right. Enough crying. Crying over split burgers. Here we go. Feet, foot pressing into the ground. Three, two, one, and hip. Out, down. Up, out, down. Up, out, three. Up, out, four. Up, out, five. Up, out, six, up, out, seven, up, out, eight. Notice how many knees stay in line? The other thing I want you to think about, so when I think about pressing both shoulder blades into the ground, okay? So I notice I'm starting to like lean on one side, really fight to keep both shoulders level into the ground. I'm guessing you're going to be working a little bit harder when you do that. Here we go, up, out, this is the other side, up, two, elbows off the ground, up, out, three, up, out, four, up, out, five, up, out, six, up, out, seven, up, out, eight, shake it out, I know when I try to push my shoulder into the ground, hamstring fired up a little more. I don't know about you. That was, uh, that was a challenge. And now we're going to go into the last round. I've been yapping too much. I want to get through some more stuff. So leg up, shoulders into the ground, elbows off, reaching one, 
up, out, down, up. Go for extension, not hyperextension. Good line. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof. Other side, up, out, up, out. Go for good abduction. Out, how far out can you go? Up, this is four. Up, five. Really drive that heel into the ground. And six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do one more because my elbow into the ground. Ah! Good job, my friends. How you feeling? Whew. Four moves down. Craig, you still eternally woo. All right, so we're gonna stay on the ground. I'm gonna get my quite as heavy. I'm gonna try this. I don't know how well this is gonna work. But we are doing kneeling with choppers. All right, so I'm gonna show you first. So knees shoulder width apart, okay? So you don't have to have them super close together. But I'm gonna be some support for this. Pressing that back foot or back toe into the ground. I'll show you in a second. Ooh, my foot's cramping. I'm gonna keep my toe up. All right, my knee, there's space here. There's space here too, but that's too much of a twist. I want to start, so I'm sort of down. Grabbing the weight by both ends, and up and down. Arms stay straight, okay? Keeping your torso engaged, but not falling all over the place. All right. I'll show you from the side. So, you can have your foot pressing into the ground, I have the top of my foot pressing into the ground. If you're like me and your leg starts cramping, you can also do this. So toe tucked under, or flat foot, whatever works for you. We're gonna do eight on each side. Slow and control, so don't just go swinging that weight back and forth. One, you may cause some damage, especially if you let go. And two, um, that's not core control, let's just play the weight around. Remember, you control the weight, the weight does not control you. Shoulders on the back, back, not sticking your butt out, nice tucked hips under, tucked hips under, hips tucked under, but not like that, that's weird. Okay, so neutral pelvis, neutral spine, neutral shoulders, three, two, one, and up. Two, three, four, keep the core engaged, five, six, seven, Eight, shake it off, come around. Other side, three, two, one, and up. Two, arms stay straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You may notice, your arms are tired on that one, that may be the limiting factor for you, or it could be you're not used to, you know, swinging through that range of motion, and you're like, whoa. Okay, so I'm actually going to go down and wait. I really wish I had my 15s here, but I don't. So I'm going to, oh, wait. I have a ball. I have a 15 ball, pound ball. So... You don't have to do this with um, don't have to do this with the dumbbells if you have a ball, some other object you just want to lob, you know, diagonal. Remember, this is a diagonal swing across your torso. Okay, so keep that in mind. You can start here. You can start near your hip. Just making sure you're starting on this side where there's space. All right. Let's go on to round two. Why did I make this one be eight? I don't know. Let me get my posture ready and oof. One, two, three. And this ball is slippery. 
four. Oh, I guess you put this one. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Swap size. There we go. Wait. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Jane? What are you doing? I don't know. But I don't like how this ball works. Oh, what? Oh. Two. I'm going to drop this ball on my face. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Well, I think it works so well. So I don't know what this ball is made of, but it's like all slippery. And if you're a 12 year old boy, uh, you are welcome to make random noise about slippery ball, random jokes about slippery balls. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna shake out our arms. I'm gonna do that one more time, I got my 12. 17 and a half to 15 to 12. Wasn't trying to make this a pyramid workout, but um, I need to grab that dumbbell. So, without further ado, here we go. Last round, three, two, one, and straight arms. Two, three. Keeping your arms, your shoulders away from your ears. You know the top of the movement, four. This may be six, but I'm calling it five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out, other side. Yeah, 12 is too light, dude. Oh well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, good job, my friends. Give me a high five. Woot, woot. Oh. T Rex arms are sending in. I'm a little, little wet from yesterday. So, I don't know about you guys. This month I've been talking about motivation. And um, I will say the Olympics, I love the Olympics. So if you don't know me, you don't know me. Okay. I don't typically like watching sports on TV. Not really big into watching football or unless there's snacks involved. True story. True fact. However, I am an Olympics junkie. I love watching the Olympics. I should have been watching the Olympics right now, but I'm here with you because I love you. And um, yesterday I was like, oh, I don't want to lift weights. And I was like, damn it, these are top athletes. They work so hard. I can spend an hour lifting weights. And I actually watched the Olympics and lifted some weights. Thank you, Olympics, for motivating me. I'm going to go with a heavier weight for this next round. Okay. So we're going to be back on the ground. Yay. Now what we're going to do, yeah. So we're going to do a, a combo move, two many moves in one. Craig, this was part of that move that I was going to have you do when you guys came to visit. All right, you are going to start with an overhead lat raise. So you're going to start hands gripping each side of the dumbbell. You're going to come up 90 degrees. Tricep, don't smash your face. Curl, okay? And then back down. Try to touch the ground slowly, gently. Without crushing your fingers, I'm going to get my ponytail out of the way because, uh, yeah. Quick ponytail adjustment. Woo! Try sexy. All right. <sighs> Let's do a few sets of eight because eight is great. Here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Tricep. Crunch. All the way back down. Up. Tricep. Keep those elbows towards the ceiling as you do that tricep extension. Tricep, don't smash your face, that's three, and down. Up, tricep, up, and down. 
Does this four? Sure. Oh, that's four. You know, you're welcome to do other reps, numbers. I'm going to call that five. Oh. Six. Seven. Oof. Eight. Whoop, whoop. And back down. So, one of the things I want to pay attention to myself this next round is really focusing on getting those hands all the way back to the ground and trying to keep the elbows a little straighter. Okay, so I don't want them locked out. They can have a little bit of bend, but I don't want you doing your lat raise with bent, like totally bent elbows. Okay, I want them to be distinct movements with straighter arms and then bending. And also making sure those triceps are here, trying to keep them pointing happily to the sky, happily to the ceiling. We're gonna do round two. Whew, here we go, three, two, one, and up. Tricep, crunch, and back down. Up, tricep, crunch, and back down. Just peeling my back off the ground. Shoulders off the ground. Crunch, that's three. Up, crunch, pull forward, and oop. Try to keep the elbows in. As you do the triceps, and not letting them flare out. I think this is five now. Ah, shit, lost my cap. I'm gonna do three more. You do whatever you need to do. Get you through the night. Oh, whatever you do, don't drop the weight on your head. That would be bad. If you're feeling tired, swap out your weight to finish the set. I don't want you saying, James, smash my face. I don't want that. You don't want that. Oh, look at my hair. It's crazy. Whew. It's like I got like a weird fan mode hot. I don't know if you can see that. It's weird. Nice and cool though. We have one more round. And um, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Three, two, one, and up. Tricep. Crunch. That's one. Up. Tricep. Elbows in. Crunch. That's two. Up. Tricep. Crunch. That's three. Up. Tricep. Crunch. That's four. Up. Tricep, crunch, that's five. Up, tricep, crunch, that's six. Up, tricep, crunch, seven. Last one, up, tricep, crunch, and eight. Take a break. Good job, my friends. High five, crazy hair, don't care. How you doing? Still on boot boot. I got two likes on this one. I like it. Yay, two likes and then one. Don't forget, if you're watching, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Little bell icon, ringy dingy, to know when I go live. Okay, let's stand up, shall we? Ooh, zoom out. We are going to do, oh, Sudo has to go. So sorry I had to leave. I'm getting to the best stuff now. But thank you for joining. Thank you, player. Can't win if you don't play. All right, let's do some knee drive curls. So I'm gonna grab a plank. And we're gonna do, so it's gonna go squat, curl with a knee raise. Chanta used to call these knee drive curls. I'm gonna call them that too. I'm stealing his move. What you gonna do about Sean, huh? Uh -huh. Probably beat me up. <sighs> yeah. I can climb, no, I can't climb, I don't know. Let's we'll debate how I can escape from Shanti. Here we go, three, two, one, and curl. We're gonna do eight each side. It's two, three, four, the shoulders back, five, 
So the temptation to have the shoulders come forward, especially when you go down in that squat. Fight the urge. Six, seven, eight. That's round one. Ah, two more rounds. There's my hair. Woo, I like it. All right, we've got two more rounds. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to up my weight. Because why not? No one's watching. I can do whatever I want. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, and one. One. Shoulders back. Two. Two. We're going up to eight. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Take a break. So one of the things that I was thinking we're doing is having enough space to have our hands come down. So my feet are wider than shoulder width apart because I want to have that space. But I don't want you doing a sumo squat because we already done that. So make sure feet are more forward. You just, you know, they're, they're wide, wide in the shoulder, but not too wide, okay? Anybody left? No. Here we go. Last round. Three, two, one, and down, up, down. Making sure those knees track over the toes. This is two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, six, six, seven, seven, elbows in. It was at seven. I'm going to do one more bonus. Eight, eight. Woo! That's it done, everybody. If you're still here, you are awesome. So I'm gonna get my heavyweights for the next one. So what we're gonna do, then over we're gonna deadlift. So I'm gonna go heavy, because I'm good at my rowing moves. So, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start bent over, okay? You're gonna have your dumbbells, your hands, mid shin, okay? Why well, mid shin? Because if you had a barbell, that's where your hands would roughly be with the barbell touching the ground, okay? Shoulders back, elbows rotate out slightly. You're gonna do a row in a bent over position, and then kind of standard, okay? We're gonna do sets of eight. Feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend in the knees. Here we go. Row to belly button. Stand. Row to belly button. Stand. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Keep the back straight. Up. Row. That's four. Row. And five. Row. Six. Row. Seven, one more, row, and eight. Take a break. Round one done, we got two more rounds. I don't know how much music we have left. Let me check. I think we're on the last guest song, but we'll figure it out. We got two more rounds. Grab some water, take a break if you need to.
Ready for number two? So remember, keeping that back straight is very tempting to curve the back. See my back's curved? So think about neutral pelvis, okay? Not sticking your butt out. And then keeping those shoulders back. Really focusing on keeping that back straight. You start to feel tension here. Look in the mirror, check your form. Big fan of checking yourself out. All right, here we go. Row up. Two up. Three up. Four up. Head neutral spine. Five up. Six. Seven. Last one. Up. Eight. Very nice and done. We've got one more round. And then I'll have to bid you adieu because I'm on slow music now. Gotta finish this stuff up. We gotta stretch. All right. Shake it out, grab a little bit of water. Last round. That core engaged, protect your back. Remember, your core has your back's back. Oh. <sighs> Cracking all over the brain. Because I'm doing a bunch of corrections. Because I'm like, am I sticking my back? Ooh. Yeah. So it's something I have to be consciously aware of. Consciously? Consciously aware of. And so should you. Okay, prevent injury. Here we go. Knee slightly bent. Down. So row. Up. Row. Up. That's two. Row. Up. That's three. Four. Shoulders engaged. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight. Eight is great. You are done. Awesome job. Woo. How are you feeling? Feeling good, I hope. Grab some water. Uh, wipe yourself down if necessary. Let's proceed with the stretch. So let's do an inhale. Exhale. Good job today. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Give yourself a high five. Lean over to the side. Reach your good fingertips. Breathing low. Good job today. It was fun. I went by too quickly. You know, you know I didn't want to do this workout. I was like, oh, I already worked out today. But next time I know, I'm like, oh, I didn't get to do the last move. I actually had two more moves. Here's another high five. We're reaching out to the side. One of those moves I'll never tell. Come on up. Give yourself a pat on the back. Really great job that you did today. Great job, as I like to say, you. Yes, you, pointing my finger. You are that much stronger for showing up. It's so much more fun to work out with friends and family. Give yourself another pat on the back. <sighs> uh, hands clasped behind your back. If you can get your palms together, it's cool. If not, you can open them up. Pushing back, sticking out chest because you're so proud of the work that you did today. You should be, because it was awesome. Now you're gonna bring your hands in front. Ooh, oh, my shoulders need that. Pressing the hands into each other. So, uh, I think Friday, Friday, question mark? I'm doing a Bosu ball workout. 45 minutes, I believe. Come and check that out. Santa Barbara, reach down through the fingertips until you head to the side. I am here for you tonight. Cardio at Hidden Park. Tomorrow, Ultra Circuit here at JRF headquarters. And Thursday morning, uh, boot camp with Lita. Saturday morning, Cabrillo Mobility and Strength. Come and join me. Until you go to the other side. Reach out through his fingertips. If this workout makes you sweat, makes you smell, and you feel like you can digital dollars by way of appreciation, PayPal, Venmo, Zelle, 
or you can click on the handy link in the description. So the donation of January actually finish whatever denomination you desire. Things I'm saving up towards. So I want to buy some TRX slam balls. The only thing holding me back is that one. I don't know where I gave a slam because I don't have any good services. But they're on sale. Might go get some. Also, uh, what I really want to do, um, upgrading the website. Time to switch on a better website. And also, I want better lighting so that these workouts can be of superior quality for you, my friends. In the meantime, let's bend the knee, figure four, stretch down. Ooh. I'm gonna stand up, stretch that quad, hip floor, stretch your hip flexor as well. Ooh, knees together. Ooh. Foot down, hamstring stretch, back knee bends. You can have your hands here. Keep the foot dorsal flexed to get the stretch. Switch the other side. Let's do quad stretch uh, first. What? I know, crazy. Switch in the order. Hips forward. Cross the leg over, figure four. I think that's all I have to say for you, to you, to you. Um, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, James, smash. Um, and uh, like, refer, go to my social medias and uh, show some love. Feet together, do a square fold. Sway side to side, slowly stretch on that lower back. Slowly roll up four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. I will conclude here. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Um, if you want to know what my bonus moves were, you can just ask me. Yeah, you can email me. I'll, I'll tell you. I don't care. Um, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again later this week. Until then, uh, all the social media things. Also, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter, handy-dandy link. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.